It's the weekly slugfest of all of us editors, reporters, anchors here in the India Today newsroom, the only democratic newsroom in the country. Well, this week, it's Ab Ki Bar Char So Par, which was a whisper campaign by the BJP until now, until it was declared officially by Prime Minister Modi in his speech in the Lok Sabha yesterday. So how realistic is it? Is this just psychological warfare? Are these political mind games? Or does the BJP really have a strategy? Is it possible for Char Sopar, for Team Modi and the Modi juggernaut? Well, on the Democratic Newsroom today, Gaurav Savant, all of us need no introduction, obviously, but Gaurav, Rajdeep, Rahul, myself, Shiv, Preeti, Sneha, and Akshita. More people will be joining in. It's a chaotic newsroom. Rajdeep, India's biggest political reporter. He's covered the most elections also. Rajdeep, Char Sopar, what do you think? I mean, if you're sitting in a television studio, you'll probably give the BJP at the moment 544 out of 543. I mean, I, <laughs> the way I see news channels headlines, it's almost as if they've uh, decided the election. I haven't seen an election quite like this. Not even 2004, which was the big surprise, have, uh, you know, has the cheerleading already begun. I mean, this Abki Bar Char Sopar is not just Prime Minister Modi, it's being echoed across newsrooms. I mean, you look at the headlines, the slugs, but to be very honest, I did a video blog on this four weeks before, uh, just after the uh, December 3rd assembly uh, polls. And my sense is uh, arithmetically 400 for the BJP and its allies as the allies stand today seems tough. But I do believe that the BJP is going to get its highest as of today is inching towards its highest ever tally. 370 is the figure that uh, yeah, Modi mentioned. Mr. Modi is given 370. I don't want to get into numbers. I believe that the BJP, as of today, is poised to get its highest ever tally in a Lok Sabha election. That's about all I'm willing to say. No, but, but I'm amazed and amused by the drumbeat that we have. But it's it, almost that you've decided in democracy. Why call it a democratic newsroom? We should call it a single-party newsroom. It is absolutely ridiculous for Rajdeep to blame television news channels for this drumbeat. It's been on social media. Rajdeep and I, no, I do. together I do. were at a lunch hosted by a Congress leader this morning. This mm. is an annual lunch. Every single Congress leader I spoke to is discussing the inevitability of the BJP's sure. victory and the fact that they're reconciled to defeat. Their family members are cursing the uh, Congress leadership and are totally non-optimistic about their fortunes. And Rajdeep, you are blaming television news channels. No, that I'm is an absurd argument. Look at no, how I'm the opposition is said. No, once again, Rajdeep. I'm making, you know, a, you know, no, I'm making a distinction between what the inevitability of the outcome seems to be politically and the drumbeat across television no, channels. We are no, media persons. Again. We are not political no, parties. No, once again, you know, there's a difference. To call this a drumbeat is the wrong way of describing what's at play. This is, in psychology, the winning, winning bandwagon effect. Of course, this will play itself out till May. We are not psychologists. If, if everybody starts to believe that the BJP is coming to power, it is possible that the BJP, Modi, Shah and everybody else could have willed the kind of performance they will end up with. What if the opponents already decide that they have no hope in hell of winning? Therefore, they don't fight in the way that they should. Look at how the India Alliance is disintegrating. Rajdi, for you to blame television news channels is completely irresponsible and, I just and want, unacceptable. I want to tell everyone... The opposition, is not Rahul, the opposition is not doing its job properly. I opposition believe, doesn't want to fight in the election. That, no, no. I believe as a journalist... You were at the same lunch. How enthusiastic were they I about their fortunes? How much of their heart and soul are they putting into the fight? I believe journalists cannot become cheerleaders. Who's cheerleading anybody? Of we are stating facts for facts. No, not Why should, should it seem as why the is put I will show you across... I Who's just want to say, kind of no, no, once again. I, it's I, not I, about the headline. Malik Arjun Kharge makes I some you have comment. to reflect reality for what it is. I just, so, no, I just want to say to that Preeti, Sneha and Akshay, you will have to interrupt if you want to get a word in edgeways. The opposition itself, 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 itself is not wanting to fight. Where is the opposition well, serious about this fight? I think I'll tell you something. I mean, from today's example, that entire dog video of Rahul Gandhi that was doing the rounds, when that video was carried as a piece of information, we said that the BJP is accusing Rahul Gandhi of ill-treating the party workers. We didn't say it. When the clarification came in, we, we put out the clarification as prominently as we put out that video. 
So, barring a few news anchors no, or reporters, no, 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 I must give you an example. Malikarjun Kharge makes a comment about Charso Par in Parliament. Just a minute now. That comment is put out by the BJP IT cell. News channels take a slice of it and put breaking news. Malikarjun Kharge concedes defeat. It was a total lie. No context. It was done deliberately. It's designed. We have to separate the no, two no, issues. I am sorry, Rajdeep. No, 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 no,
my limited point is when I hear these debates, aapki baar 400 paar, it seems almost as the anchor wants the point. That is your thinking. That is not true. Can we move Why so loud? Can we move Why is he so loud? No, that's because you run down, you run down journalists and it's it's completely uncalled It's completely uncalled for. you put a breaking news saying he has conceded defeat. Please show me where he conceded defeat. You have pushed the last issue. I apologize. This was uncalled at least move out of the newsroom, out of you know what journalists are doing and not doing, and talk about Chaso Power. How we're going to get to that number? How we I are, think everyone wants how to hear that. To get, you how are BJP? BJP will get into it? I'm BJP. sorry, sir. I'm sorry for uh, that. Please. Okay, I'm very sorry. I didn't mean it, and it most definitely doesn't mean that we are you know going ahead and beating our chest over the BJP getting this number or that. Let's talk about the numbers because I'm sure everyone wants to hear from you on how that breakdown will really work. And that's it. So, okay, the I've given, given you the breakdown. Ra- Let's Raji Let's you know, about, you know, performance. But may I, about... may I, everyone who's writing of the opposition, the opposition cannot be written off as we've seen in the three state elections. The opposition, and you know, we got picked up break up. Uh, Rajasthan Congress got 39.6, Chhattisgarh 42.2, Madhya Pradesh 40. No, so, if they have 40%, percent, hold on, they are in the fight. They are in the fight. They are still in the fight. They need to have their heart in the fight. You come from a military background. From cricket, let's move to the army. The opposition army has to believe it's in the fight. If the opposition army, before the bugles have been blown, start conceding that they've lost. It's only then a question of the quantum of victory. The opposition army at this moment doesn't believe that they are fighting to win. You know, and that's the problem. So you really, when you start blaming the messenger, that is where you think that you've lost okay, the battle. Okay, let's move beyond the messenger. Let's the messenger. But if you're still in the fight, if you're still in the fight, then you fight hard. And the opposition, and the opposition is fighting hard. Look at, look at, you know, roughly what. 160 or 180 odd seats in uh, south of India, where the BJP has never won. Okay. So, yeah. South of India do where not the throw BJP is trying to make inroads. You must not throw so numbers not. without knowledge. I am 131 sorry. seats. Let's I, I, I am sorry. The BJP 129. 129. 129. And South of India. One second. But South India has 129. Yes. Plus Pondicherry. Plus, plus Pondicherry. No, but my point is 199 seats that BJP has never won. 84. That the BJP has never really won. I want to. I think those 84. Not that they're not. But the 84 is what the BJP has never won before. Okay. Let me ask you. Let me ask a separate question and I'll bring Rahul and Preeti. Look, I get numbers and I get facts. But those numbers are wrong. But those numbers are wrong. You go to wrong numbers. I'm sorry. It's not 164. It's 129. I have a question. I have a question. Guys, is this Rahul? Can the opposition? Can the opposition? Is the opposition's mission objective now? To, not about winning, forget about winning, that's gone uh, according to them psychologically. Now it's about denying the BJP 370 or Char so Par. No, but I don't. They're actually, Become like that now. In the conversations that we had, there's already a blame game that's taking place. They're trying to find reasons for why things are as bad as they are. Rahul Gandhi is being blamed, the others are being blamed. I'm saying there is no Sorry. belief, and unless there is belief, the outcome will tend more in the direction of those who have believed than in the direction so of those who have So this walk has worked then. It's about who's to blame. No, I, I actually I, believe, and this is interesting because this was part of this lunch conversation. Everyone asked me this, how many seats do you think the BJP will get? I, I said, actually the story of 2024 is not how many seats the BJP will get. That's wrong. The real story of 2024, because the BJP could get 303, it could get 320, 350, it will be anywhere between 280 to 360. That, I mean, 360 with allies, I would think, or 370 with allies. The real story of 2024 is how many seats will the Congress get? True. The Congress has ended up with 44 seats in 2014, with 51 seats in 2019. Could they get even lower this time? And if they get three consecutive elections of getting less than 50 seats, the impact that will have. To my mind, that is the story. Will the Congress implode? Will it disintegrate? Okay. That's the story of 2024. So far and all, the BJP, whether it gets 300 or 400, Narendra Modi will be the Prime Minister of the country. It It doesn't change anything. I think when it comes to that, what the Congress is doing, and uh, I'm sorry to constantly bring it back to the South, but I love the South. But when we talk about that, that's what the Congress keeps doing. Talking about North versus South. I would say that maybe with the Congress doing that, I agree with Shiv, that the idea is kind of to ensure that, you know, the BJP doesn't reach 
that number. It's a psychological figure that the, B, uh, that the Congress doesn't want them to reach, so they're focusing on the South. How does that change that anything, Akshita? How does yeah. whether the BJP get 350? No, it's just an index of how cracked the, the opposition is. No, the, 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 real, the real story of 2024 Sir, is where does the Congress, the Congress end? To my mind, if the Congress, the, the interesting story... How much Congress is going to be? Yes, how much is the Congress going to be? But do you think Congress leaders are thinking that? Or are they, are they thinking how many will get? But do you think the Congress leaders are talking about even at this lunch? Because this lunch is the, what's become the, you know, the focal point of uh, the democratic newsroom. We Most never get invited happens. to lunches, guys. No, they okay. have been, oh, you were invited. I, I, Most I, I, of them are happens <laughs> in, you know, in, in, in the state of being where the Congress is. They are armchair politicians, save a few. And they come up with bizarre permutations, combination, and the same thing was in 2019. Was the, was the it's best not to focused, listen to them and go was back the, Was the discussion more focused on how much BJP is winning? But you know, when you talk about the South Africa, what is interesting is, if you look at just 2019 figures, 53% of the, the vote share for the Congress came in from the South, only 9% for the Bharatiya Janata Party. So if you look at it, it just came in from Telangana and Karnataka. Guys, 25 seats in Correct. Telangana and four, uh, 25 in Karnataka our, our and 4 BJP in Telangana. BJP reporter Polami has very dutifully come in from field reporting <laughs> to join the Democratic newsroom. And since we're in our last leg of this debate, let me squeeze her in quickly. Polami, now we have 400. Rajdeep has said, you know, newsroom should stop drum beating, points made across the board. What do you think from the ground level? Well, um, I'm not going to, uh, you know, uh, speak numbers over here. But yes, the BJP is looking very confident. Uh, you know, the Prime Minister's speech yesterday in Parliament in the Lok Sabha during his reply was very clear. Uh, when was the last time you heard the Prime Minister give a number? Now, that might be theatrics, you know, Article 370, etc. All of that, uh, you know, Congress might make jokes about it. Ki kya wo oth lenge agar kam gaya usse. But the fact is, he's very confident. The BJP is very confident. The fact that they're changing MPs en masse at least 30 to 40. 40% as far as elections are concerned. They've mm. got all the reports down from all the constituencies. They're planning on fielding their Rajya Sabha MPs uh, who are ministers, um, you know, be it Bhupendra Yadav, be it Ashwini Vaishnav, be it um, uh, Mr. Piyush Goel as well. Uh, the fact is that they do know that the wave is in their favor right now. And, uh, you know, they want all of their mantris the, but the to BJP, contest the elections. Rajdeep, the BJP loves these... You know, these nuggets, ab ki baar char so par, these no. numbers, because they love ha having the chance to trumpet beating that number. You know, every political... So it's not just psychological. Why, no, no, why not? I have absolutely no problem with the BJP doing what the BJP is doing. They're a political party. They're mm. going to throw these psychological ops. We, uh, Rajiv Gandhi's government also did it in 1984. Yeah, Look at yeah. some of the advertising at that time as well. You know, it was designed to sort of virtually send out the message that the election was a done deal. No problem with that at all. I think at some stage we'll have to get away from numbers and look at real issues. You know, what are the real issues on the ground? In the first past the post system, you tend to look at numbers, but actually I think elections will be a time to actually look at where do we stand as a nation? What are the real issues that trouble people? I'm, you know, we are discussing all this when there is this huge, when the same government on the same day also passed a very important bill on paper leaks, hmm. on the fact that state after state, lakhs of students, their careers, their lives are at stake because government papers are leaked both state and center. These are the issues which I think should matter. Unfortunately, what you've done is reduced elections to Modi versus who? Apki par, char so par. No. And I think it is virtually bringing down the complexity of an Indian election no, into this, these this, nuggets and these sound bites. This definitely matters. The paper leak bi bill is... That shows, uh, you know, the Modi government has got the pulse of the people because the opposition supported them on their right. bill. How can you stand right. against that bill? No, might yeah, I but, just say, but remember, not yeah. to sound defensive, but India Today has covered the paper leak issue for the last two years more than any other channel. We've the only one who's done enough. investigations. No, no, yes, absolutely. We've led we've with government much reporting. More no, no, I just fact. want to say that no, we've we, been we are completely different from the rest of the media. We're reporting every yeah. side but, of the but, story. Remember, so this, this anguish, I, I fail I to understand. See, I want to see I, the I, paper leak issue on India you know, first tonight. Uh, no, tonight we have the Uniform Civil Code and that is why you must watch India First at 10 p.m. tonight. Uh, That's there you at know, 9 as well. So, you will you know, uh, uh, but, and, I, but you should report. Uh, well, I believe these are the issues yes, you should report. These are the issues yes, that the, matter to the nation. So and less again, about Pakistan, when, when more we, about India. Here's the point. I by the way, we will also be reporting you know, Pakistan elections and the disaster in Pakistan in two days from now. Many, many, but that is where Indian democracy, Rahul, it just shows how powerful and strong we are as a democracy, quite like our newsroom. No, we, I also we, agree with Paul Me that I think this government has got the pulse of the people. The problem is that, and, and also there's a lot of chatter around it, and the perception, I would say, and perception is very important in politics, as is it is in life, that 
The opposition has got no agenda apart from just criticizing the government. But can I no, just ask you, well, 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 Akshita, yes. would you agree that South India, out the mood would be, if this was a newsroom in the just South, saying, guys, the mood would be different? <laughs> I, I don't even do my next show. Would it? No. If this was a news spotlight, would it be different in a Chennai, Bengaluru, Hyderabad? 20 seconds, 20 seconds. An India Today newsroom in Chennai, Bengaluru, or Hyderabad, the mood would be exactly as democratic as it is here. You know, here's what I wish to say before Last we wrap up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, many of us covered the Gujarat elections, and at that time as well, what we saw was something similar. The Congress just gave up the fight. I mean, there was AAP fighting in bits and pockets. But the Congress just gave up on the fight. And as a result, even on seats where they could have potentially done well, they end up, ended up uh, capitulating and not doing well. And the BJP ended up with 156 out of 182. What we're potentially facing in this Lok Sabha situ uh, election is a similar scenario where the opposition just gives up on the fight. And as a result, what may seem statistically, cephalogically impossible may later not seem that improbable because the opposition never fought. Therefore, you know, Rajdeep, with okay. all due respect to your experience and seniority, the opposition needs to do its job. Now, if they don't fight, last 10 seconds, if they don't uh, fight, we are even now in the Preeti show. It was exactly if, if like this. Ram Mandir Pran Pratishtha actually gives tailwind to this to this Rafale aircraft, if I may, uh, in its flight. Okay, okay can I just tell you? I, 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 this is, I, this is the BJP. The is the BJP, of democracy, if the sir. BJP gets more than 400 seats, as no. Rahul seems no, to have to be saying that it Ram Mandir, it will be Labharti. I'm close. It will be the vote, which is the. I am closing the show because only because we've run out of time. I promise we will consider making Democratic Newsroom a 60-minute show instead because clearly everyone has much more to say on this. This and many other issues, not just Char So Par, but many other national issues, including the paper leak issue, will be here on India Today. And don't forget to watch the Mood of the Nation uh, survey with Rahul and Rajdeep. We've got day-long coverage that's coming up on Thursday. It's the country's ultimate mood barometer and check many questions that face the nation this election year that's on february the 8th thursday don't miss it thanks for watching preeti comes up next with do the point